Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of equations. And in this question, we have been asked to find the product of all values of x. So we need to find the product of all values of x, which satisfy the equation that is given to us, x raised to 16 log x to the base 5, the cube of that minus 68 times log x to the base 5. And this is equated with 5 raised to minus 16. So we need to solve this entire equation which is given to us. And whatever values of x we get from this expression, we need to find the product of all values of x in that. Right? So let's understand, first of all, how to solve this type of questions. So first thing, if I want to solve this question further, what I can take here is I can see log x is with the base 5. So if I want to eliminate this 5 from the base, I can take log to the base 5 on both sides. So taking log space is 5 on both sides. Now what happens is I will have on the left hand side log x to the base 5 whose power is 16 log x to the base 5 whole cube minus 68 log x to the base 5. That is equal to log of 5 to the base 5 raised to minus 16. Right? Now we can use the idea of logarithms in this case where we have log a to the base b. I can write that as b log to any base, whatever is there, we write it as it is. So here also, if I write it, the entire power which is there, it comes in the front here. So you get here 16 log x to the base 5 whole cube minus 68 log x to the base 5. This entire thing gets multiplied now with log x to the base 5. That is equal to minus 16 log 5 to the base 5. Now we also know the idea that log of any number the same base is also equal to 1. So this entire thing becomes 1. And in the right hand side, you get minus 16 into 1, that is minus 16. Right? So if I again write it, this equation now becomes 16 log x to the base 5 whole cube minus 68 log x to the base 5 multiplied with that. The whole thing gets multiplied with now log x to the base 5 and that's equal to minus 16. Right? So you get this equation now. Let's try to solve this equation further and let's evaluate the values of x whatever we get and then we can find just the product of those values of x. So let's do it. So further, if I solve this entire expression, I can multiply log x to the base 5 uh, with both of these ideas. So if I multiply that, the entire equation becomes 16. Log x to the base 5 cube was there. If one more log x to the base 5 gets multiplied, you get log x to the base 5 whole raised to 4 minus 68. Log x to the base 5 gets multiplied two times, so becomes square of that. That's equal to minus 16. Now I can just substitute log x to the base 5 as something. So let's put that log x to the base 5 is let's say equals to t. Right? When I put it equals to t, my equation entirely changes to 16 t raised to 4 minus 68 t squared is equal to minus 16. If I further solve this, what I get 16 t raised to 4 minus 68 t squared plus 16 is equal to 0. So if I see, I can take out 4 common from all the 3 in terms. So if I take out 4 common, what I'm left with is 4 t raised to 4 minus 17 t squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So now my entire quadratic equation gets reduced to 4 t raised to 4 minus 17 t squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now we can solve this entire equation as by splitting the middle term as we have done in the quadratic equations as well. 
So if I split the middle term, I know product of two numbers should be four into four, that is 16. And the sum of those two numbers should turn out minus 70, right? So I, I can see and tell that the two numbers can be minus four and minus, or minus 16 and minus one, because the product of them becomes plus 16 and the sum of them, if I do it, becomes minus 70, right? So I can split my middle term now, that is with, 4t raised to 4 minus 16 t square minus t square plus 4 is equal to 0. If I further take out common from the first two terms and the next two terms, what I can take out common from the first two terms? 4t square. So I'll be left with t square minus 4 minus 1 again a t square minus 4 equals to 0. So what I get in this is 4t square minus 1 t square minus 4 is equal to 0. If I further solve this idea, let's do it on the next page. You have either 4t square minus 1 is equal to 0 or t square minus 4 is equal to 0. That gives you t square equals to 4. So t becomes plus or minus 2 from this idea. Here you can get it as 4t square is equal to 1. So t square becomes 1 by 4. That gives you the values of t as plus or minus half, right? So I get how many values of t here? That is, so t can be half minus half to minus two. Now I do not need t, right? I need the value of x with me. So what I can do is I can re-substitute the value of t as log x to the base five. So I get the values of log x to the base 5 as half minus half to minus 2. Okay. So if now I try to solve this idea, how can I solve this? I can write this as log x upon log 5. That can be equal to half or minus half to minus 2. So log x can be written as half log 5 or half minus half log 5 or 2 log 5 or minus 2 log 5. If I further write it as, I can write it as, if I take this power or this number half in the power, it becomes log 5 raised to half minus half or I can write this also in the same terms as the power. So this becomes log 5 raised to minus half, log 5 square, and log 5 raised to minus 2. So now, if I want to compare this log x with this, I can directly get the value of x. And what is the value of x I get here? Can be 5 raised to half, or it can be 5 raised to minus half, it can be 5 raised to 2, or it can be 5. Right? So these are all the values of x that I get and I get four values of x in this case. Now if I just want to find the product of all of these values of x, so product of all values of x is equal to 5 raised to half, 5 raised to minus half, 5 squared, 5 raised to minus 2. So we already know if the bases are same, I can just add the powers if they are are multiplied so I can just add powers 5 raised to half minus half plus 2 minus 2 that gives you 5 raised to 0 and anything raised to 0 always ends in so the answer for the question which was asked to us that said that you need to find the product of all the values of x from this expression that product turns out to become 1 in this case and if you see the option which matches in the question here is B. So the correct answer for the question that was given to us, that said to find the product of all values of x, that is option B. So that is the correct answer. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my videos if you are finding them helpful. Thank you.